Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna be talking about how to build attraction naturally with no mind games. So if you know me, you know I hate the mind games, I hate the content about the mind games, the manipulation, being toxic, it's not for me. So we're not gonna do that today. And I'm gonna show you how to create attraction naturally so that you don't have to worry about any stupid games or mind tricks or any of that. The truth is, is that there's a lot more that goes into building attraction than just physical attraction or that initial attraction that a lot of people don't talk about. So let's get started. Number one is to stop focusing on the outcome and be present in the moment. So instead of focusing on the outcome or trying to make this girl like you, thinking in your head, I have to get this girl to like me, really take a step back and think to yourself, this is an opportunity for me to get to know this person and for me to figure out if I like her. What that's going to do is take a ton of that unnecessary stress and pressure off of you and allow you to be more present in the moment and be more authentic. It'll make you come across more confident and secure instead of clingy and desperate, which we all know is women and repellent. So you really wanna be present in the moment, again, instead of focusing on that outcome or the future or if she likes you. Focus on if you even like her and just really enjoy the moment. This is a fun time for you to get to know someone and that's all it has to be. Why are you gonna sit there and overthink and drive yourself crazy if you don't even know if you like her yet? You're included in the equation too and it's not just all about if she likes you. Number two is to take things slow. Slow and steady wins the race, especially with relationships and getting to know someone. A lot of guys get really anxious, again, because they're focusing on the outcome, so much so that they rush it and they are pushy and they're clingy and desperate and needy and girls absolutely hate that. And it's a surefire way to send her running and not build any attraction. You really don't wanna be the guy who's asking her to be your girlfriend or to put a label on it and be exclusive after two dates, yikes. You really wanna let things flow and happen naturally and not feel like you have to force things or put everything in its little place. Just really take a step back, chill out, it's gonna be okay. You don't have to text her 24 seven or ask her to hang out every single day. And again, by not talking to her all day or asking to hang out every day, you're gonna have more to talk about when you're actually together or when you talk at the end of the day. And she's gonna be excited to talk to you and hear what you did during the day. And you wouldn't get that if you were talking to her 24 seven. Again, you're leaving a little to be desired there and you're not showing all your cards necessarily in the very beginning or you know, telling her every single thing that you're doing. That does not build attraction. It probably makes her annoyed. Should you be ignoring her texts or ghosting her on purpose? Absolutely not, but you should just be living your life and then finding time and a place to come together at the end of it. Number three is to give her your full attention. There's nothing worse than going out on a date with someone and seeing that they're clearly distracted or not listening to what you're saying or really not interested or paying attention to you. If you want to build attraction, you have to show interest and a great way to do that is by giving her your full attention and listening to what she's saying. Giving someone your undivided attention when you're with them makes them feel more comfortable around you because they feel like you care and you're listening and it's gonna make it a lot easier for her to open up to you, which again, builds attraction. It makes me think of this TikTok that Shaylee and I reacted to where this guy is sitting at brunch with his girlfriend and he's watching a football game. And maybe they've been dating a long time and maybe it's not that big of a deal, but if you're in the beginning or you're getting to know someone, you absolutely do not wanna be doing this. Put your phone down, chill out, and pay attention to her. So by paying attention, you're communicating interest in her, which helps build that emotional connection, which is super important for building attraction. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video, so be sure to stick around until the end. The conversation you have with her is also going to be better as a result of paying attention to what she's saying. So it's all up from here. It's a win-win by just giving her your full undivided attention and listening to what she's saying to you, which you should naturally be doing anyway if you're interested in her. And that leads me into my next point here, which is having meaningful conversations. Surface level, boring conversations do not help build attraction. Of course, there are questions in the beginning that you're going to ask her to get to know her, but this should not be the duration of your entire conversation. And you really wanna get deeper into those topics to learn more about her on a more deep level instead of just staying on the surface. You really wanna to try to move beyond that surface level conversation and don't be afraid to dig a little bit deeper here instead of bouncing from one topic to the next. So instead of bouncing from one topic to the next, try to dive a little bit deeper into one specific topic. So say you're talking about work, instead of going from that topic to where do you live, what pets do you have? Stay on the work thing and figure out why she does what she does for work. Ask her what she loves the most about it, if there's anything she doesn't like about it, where she sees herself in the future. Like really try to dive into that specific topic to have that more meaningful, deep conversation about one thing instead of talking about just a bunch of random surface level stuff. And don't be afraid to open up and share a little bit more about yourself as well. Of course, you don't wanna be the guy that's talking the entire date and doesn't let her talk. There should be equal sharing there, so that's important to keep in mind. But if she's talking about a topic, you should talk about it too and don't be afraid to get a little bit deep about it. So find the why and the reasons behind things, again, instead of just staying on the surface. 
ask her more meaningful conversations and find what makes her light up. Again, you wanna find those golden nuggets. If you don't know what that is, I've done an entire video on how to have a better conversation where I dive a little bit deeper into that. So if you haven't seen it already, be sure to check it out. Number five is eye contact and nonverbal communication. So be more engaged in what she's saying and show that by making eye contact with her. And if you're someone who struggles with this, make it a goal for yourself. Our body language often expresses how we're feeling or how interested we are without even saying anything. So keeping this in mind is very important. I've done an entire video on body language and how it affects you know, a conversation and relationships. So be sure to check that out. But specifically eye contact here really shows that you're interested, you're engaged, you're listening to what she's saying, and it's going to really help build that attraction. And don't just make eye contact with her because I told you that you should. Make eye contact with her because you're genuinely interested in what she's saying and you wanna show her that. So not only are you making eye contact to show that you're interested, but it also helps really build that moment between the two of you that you know is really just intimate between you and her. And this also helps build sexual attraction, so keep this in mind. And lastly here, I have shared experiences and interests. So doing something that both of you really enjoy and doing it together can really help build that connection between the two of you. When we have things in common with people, we can often feel a connection through that common interest. So doing something that you both love is a great way to build that. And maybe you just met this girl and you have no idea what she likes yet, but that's why the meaningful conversations are so important and really digging into those topics so you know what to do on a future date. Having things in common is important to create a long-term sustainable relationship anyways, and is great for building that attraction throughout the duration of your relationship. So starting this early is a great way to go. When women feel this connection with you, it builds attraction naturally. Is she enjoying her time with you? Are you guys laughing together? Do you have those common interests? All of this plays a huge role into naturally building that attraction. And surprisingly enough, this connection that women are feeling with you has a lot less to do with your looks and more about that shared experience and interest. And this can often be referred to as a spark. You've probably heard that in movies before and romance, whatever. And honestly, that word is kind of BS to me. I think it's really more about that feeling of familiarity and that connection she feels to you. And next here, I wanna talk about the importance of emotional attraction because I feel like this one gets left out often when you come across a video like this. It's all about what you can do physically, which is great for certain aspects and that physical attraction or that initial attraction, but emotional attraction is what's really going to take it to that next level. All successful relationships have both physical and emotional attraction. And if you ignore this emotional attraction aspect of a relationship, the physical attraction of your relationship is going to suffer because of it. This is what turns most women on sexually and it's how you build that emotional emotional and intimate connection with her. This is an area where men and women are just kind of wired differently. And I think men tend to neglect this emotional aspect because it's maybe not something that they feel as much. But for a long-term, again, sustainable relationship, you really wanna keep that emotional attraction aspect in mind. And it's a great way to build attraction in the beginning. So everything I talked about today on this list is great for building that emotional attraction. So be sure to give them all a try and let me know down below if it helps you. And although that emotional attraction is important, you obviously don't wanna neglect what's on the outside either. Show up for yourself, take care of yourself, put your best foot forward, dress well, and try to be the best that you can be. All of these are going to help you in your relationships, your dating life, and help build that attraction naturally with no games. All right, guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. I do a lot of interactive stuff on my stories, Q and A's, entry form videos. So if you wanna participate, be sure to follow me on there. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.